Yo, okay guys, today I think or I, I hope I have a video that will blow your mind. Maybe you have seen and heard of this, but so I will talk about uh, an experiment called the double slit experiment. It's it's insane. So let's get to it. Let's say you you have a gun, you know, a gun. This is a screen with one, just one opening, a slit. And this is a screen or a wall, a wall. And you shoot you shoot bullets through the opening, through the slit, right? And you, you would expect to see this pattern. So all the bullets mostly land here, right? Some bullets might ricochet, meaning they, they will hit the wall, or they, they will hit, hit the inside of the slit, maybe like this. A ricochet, right? And some bullets will hit here, 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 and so on. But most bullets will be confined to this area. So they will make a line, okay? A line, one line. So this, it looks, it looks like a line, right? So far, so good. Now, let's see. Let's say you have two openings, two slits here. You continue firing bullets, shoot bullets through both slits. And of course, you will not get one, but you will get two uh, lines. They look like lines, right? Most of the bullets will hit here and here. Some bullets will ricochet and hit other places, but mostly most of the bullets will be confined to this area and this area. Okay. Totally expected, right? No problem. No problem at all, right? No problem. So, Let's say we we change, we, uh, we, we use something other than a bullet. We'll use water. You know water? Yeah, the glass of water is back. We'll use water instead of bullets. Let's see here. Okay. So, so this is this is the same as here, just a different, uh, different perspective, right? So this is shot like this. Now we just turn it like that. So just a different perspective. It's the same, okay? You have the screen here, which is this one, this screen, and the opening, so you can see through you can see through the opening, of course. Now, this is water. These are waves. You know, waves, waves, here, waves. Now, these waves will move that way. They will move forward. They will hit the, uh, the screen and go through opening and the highest intensity in the uh, in the wave will hit the wall and make make uh, a line right like with the gun so there were it will make a line here on the wall same with this wall same so the scientists uh, are registering uh, the intensity. 
and it makes one line. No problem so far, All right? Let's see. So no surprises so far. Now, if we introduce two openings, same as we did here, but instead of shooting bullets, we still use water, right? So when the wave goes through both slits, both openings, they will the waves will start interfering with each other, right? So when when two waves with the same wave length hit hit each other, they will amplify. They will be stronger, stronger. Two waves with the uh, different wavelength, wavelength, they will um, cancel each other out. I think it's something like that. So, on. So let's compare with this uh, this experiment. With the gun, you you would have two lines, right? But here, when you use water, instead of just two lines, you will get one. You or you will you will get many lines. These lines indicates that uh, waves have hit each other and amplified. So the intensity, the highest intensity will be here, 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 and so on. In the middle here, the waves have canceled each other out. They have died. Okay. So this is, this is to be expected, right? This pattern, this pattern, it's called an interference pattern because the waves are are interfering with each other right so they create an interference pattern normal expected so what happens if we do the same thing do the same thing with atoms you know an atom for example an electron now you think, well, electron, it's like a small ball. It's, an, it's a particle, right? So we should have these results, right? Well, let's see. Okay, so first, so let's say this is the gun. It's not a gun, of course not. But this thing, this, it shoots, it fires tiny electrons. Almost like, uh, almost like a bullet, right? You shoot it and it goes through the opening, the slit. And just like here with the gun, it makes a pattern almost well, like a single line, right? And some, some electrons will hit here, right? Be because it will maybe maybe it goes like this you have one that goes like this and hits here and whew, it ricochets right but most electrons will go straight and hit this area so no problems at all right this was to be expected no problems but then let's say you you introduce two openings. Well, of course, you think, yeah, of course, you will have, you will have uh, two lines, right? Not one, but two lines. This is what happens. What? What the frick? You don't get you, we. we don't see two lines. We, we see several lines, like with the waves. That's that's uh, that's a bit strange, right? That can't be. Why is uh, why are the electrons making this pattern? 
Why is it making an interference pattern like the waves do? The waves make an interference pattern, right? Of course, because they are waves. But these, these electrons, they are particles. They're tiny particles. What is going on? What is going on? So the scientists are they're clever, right? They're smart. So they thought, okay, we will not shoot many. Uh, we will not shoot many particles at the same time. We will just shoot one, and then one more, and then one more, then more, one more. So one particle at at a time, right? Just one particle at a time, and let's see what happens. Then we will have. Then we should have two lines. So they started shooting, firing one particle, and then another particle. But after a while, they saw the same interference pattern. What the hell is going on? Huh? What is going on here? And of course, the scientists, they are clever, they are smart. So they thought, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. If we measure, we put a camera here to see what is going on, what happens. Does, does the, uh, the electron go through this opening? Does it go through this opening? What, what is going on? So they put a measuring device here to measure or to observe what happens here after. Or maybe it put, they put it here as well. I don't, I don't, rem uh, I don't remember. So. But so now they can see, okay, what, what is going on? What is going on here? But when they did that, when they put a measuring device here, they did not get this pattern. Oh no. They got this pattern. How is that possible? How is that possible? Then they thought, okay, uh, we will remove, we will remove the measuring device, the the, um, the camera, take it away, and they ran the experiment again. But now they got this result. <laughs> can, can you explain this? Can someone explain this? It's, it's safe to say that if you can come up with an explanation for this, you will win a Nobel Prize. Oh yeah, for sure. So uh, I, I hope, I think I remembered everything. Probably not, but I will leave a link down below uh, to um, a video on YouTube where you can watch uh, a better video of the double slit experiment, which explains it better than I do. Yeah, so just check out down below and write a comment down below. What 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 do you think about this? Have you seen it before? So this. The first experiment happened many, many, many years ago. That, that is how they, they knew that, okay, a particle is either a wave or a particle or both at the same time. Yeah, I think these things are fascinating. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.